Hello, my name is Raymond Belize. I'm a biostatistician data scientist at the University of Miami, and I want to tell you a little bit about a project that my colleagues and I have been working on, rum. So what is rum? It's an alcoholic beverage. It also means strange and odd. Um, sadly, it also means difficult and dangerous. What is RUM, also known as rum? R plus UM, the University of Miami, gives you rum. REM is a package designed to help lighten the memory load for people who want to use R Markdown or Quarto to support reproducible research. That is, they want to use tools that will knit together code and text to produce papers. REM has been around for a while in the last release, 0.3.2. We included code snippets for R Markdown to help with things like creating web pages, a book down site, or a PDF. And we also included a template for a research paper or research project done with R Markdown. The latest release includes Quarto, hence the name Quarto Rum. If you don't know Quarto, you can think of it as being a new language which combines most of the tools that are available in the various and sundry R Markdown packages, Bookdown, Blogdown, etc. I mentioned that Rum includes code snippets. While R Markdown and Quarto are both pretty friendly, there's an awful lot of options that you need to remember, and I find that adds an extra burden for people who are just starting out. So what the code snippets do is they include options that I think most people would want. So they're at the top of an R Markdown document, there's a header, and usually you want to include the date of your paper or the date when your project is built. What's the syntax? It's in the header. There are other options like enabling or disabling warnings, errors, and notes. How do you turn those on or off? How do you get rid of the two pound symbols in our output? How do you set the rounding? I work with and teach students to use tidyverse and the conflicted package. How do you set the options for conflicted and tidyverse? So tidyverse is very chatty. How do you make it quieter? If you're not familiar with conflicted, it watches to see if you're using packages that contain the same function. So if a function, say, lag, appears in more than one package that you have loaded, it will stop you from using lag until you say which version you want to use. With Conflicted, you can set options for your default preferences. How do you remember those details? I also teach modeling with tidy models. How do I set the options for tidy models? By using the code snippet, as you can see, all of those options are set for you, and we've tried to document these things so that the instructions are easy to set and modify for novices. How do you do this? Again, our audience is, is new R users, and so everything is available from menus. Here I'm showing how you can choose one of the RUM templates. In version 1.0 of RUM, we've integrated Quarto and given you the ability to build a research project template using either R Markdown or Quarto. What additional functionality do you get by using the paper shell templates? Well, you get a paper shell, so it includes additional options in the header, for example, to specify your bibliography style. It includes the sections for a typical research paper, introduction, methods, results. The method section has some code showing how to reference packages. We've added code to check your scripts to find out what packages you're using and add them to a bibliography. You get a bibliography file. And also there's an aggressive git ignore file added. While there is a function, rum make project, which will make the paper project, I think most people will want to get at this using menus. So let me show you that. So do notice here that you have the option to either build from Quarto or Markdown. You'll notice in the window pane in the bottom right that there's a lot of files added. So I mentioned the gitignore as well as the analysis file folder. 
There is also a data folder and a style file, which I'll talk about in just a minute. But as you can see, you, you start out with a paper shell, which includes a header, includes code, different parts of a paper, including a method section, as well as some options for figuring out what packages you're using and adding those to a project bibliography. The gitignore file, I'll talk more about in a second, but as you can see, it includes lots of files. It's pretty aggressive in that it tries to keep people from adding files which may contain data to their code repositories. So it will attempt to block data files from being added to a Git repo. What else is added inside of this file? The header specifies that by default, when you render the paper, it will use the New England Journal of Medicine style. If you'd like to use a different style, you can go out to Zotero and download a different file and then just reference it in the header with this on the CSL line. In the method section, you'll notice there's a block of code. What it does is it adds in a sentence saying what version of R you're using as well as the different packages you're using. We've included this to save the novice from having to figure out this line of code for figuring out their version of R or figure out this line of code for which version of Tidyverse they're using. The RUM-based project will go through and figure out what packages are being used in the paper. Here I'm indicating that the results section is going to use GT summary to produce tables as opposed to table one. After I've added this to the code file, when I re-render the paper, the bibliography file will automatically include the reference to GT summary. And then I can modify my method section to reflect this. So here you see the default code, which is in the project. If I'm going to use GT summary, I can go out to the paragraph describing the packages used and just swap out and add in GT summary. If you haven't used the visual editor yet in our studio, it's lovely for this kind of task. So here I'm going to switch to the visual editor and add in the reference to the package using the point and click tools. So you can just click on citation, builds up, it pulls up the bibliography file, and you can insert the reference. Then when I go back and I render the paper, you'll see that it appears with the New England Journal style. Because I work with protected health information, I worry a lot about data leakage. RUM adds a very aggressive gitignore file, which attempts to block common data formats. If you're not using Git, don't worry about this. If you're a novice, always ask for help and get an expert to make sure that you're not accidentally backing up copies of your sensitive data. If you're an expert, please tell me what else you'd like to see added to the gitignore file. If you have questions, suggestions, or concern, send me an email, open an issue on GitHub. The documentation is all out on the web. It includes the function for doing all of this without point and click, and it includes three vignettes. If you're like me and you collect hex stickers, send me an email. Um, we can figure out the details. You can send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, and I can send you a rum hex sticker. Thanks for listening.